that's the last one you had that appears but you can go on the right hand side and I said again you can change it so you could have uh, you could have a link to your MySpace or your a Facebook page or fan page or group page or whatever you want so we could put uh, we'll just put my name Lone Wolf we'll just put that in and drag it wherever you want you can make font size bigger there you go grab and drag I can put a little bit of an effect on that by doing a f uh, right click effect one off we'll call it explode see what that looks like it's probably crap one. and because it's a grayed out up until there and then it comes in well, that's pretty crap you have it going really slow if you drag it all the way out the longer it is, the slower the effect. There you go. So as you can see, the loop is sort of building up all the time. You can have as many different things on as you want. Uh, having to link into websites, you can play link to YouTube. On my version, I put <laughs> just for a bit of an in joke. If you go onto where it says Rich Nozzle on the Twitter, I've made it so if you go onto Rich. Um, as he's a bit of a <laughs> he's a bit of a clown. It should you can just because it's going on a, a a drag over when your mouse drags over the words you can link it to a sound. So in this case I put this sound because <laughs> he's a joke. <laughs> um, and you can do that. So the way you would do that is the same way as I've done with the. Uh, with when you highlight the lone wolf, it comes on a bit dark. To do that, you would go click on your writing, and just the way we'd had it before, add script, events, button, as we're used to doing now, and you just want to go roll over. So once your mouse rolls over that that box, add script we want it to play a sound it's in red so we know it's not linked the bit we want isn't in the bin yet so we're going to import it and if we find wherever it is horror drone open and that puts it into our bin because since again it's, it's in red it's not linked so we want to link it so if we just press horror drone on there changes to blue and that means it's linked so when we hopefully drag over this when I preview it it should make that sound I think it's gonna come on quite loud so already I'm gonna press sound effect I'm gonna change that to 45 percent and you don't want to put sound to play again on there you don't need it to loop this time because you just want it to play once as the mouse as the mouse uh, hovers over the image stroke text or whatever you put in so if we OK that, and we're going to preview. Now when my mouse hovers over that, it should play. It hasn't. I don't know that's because it's got an effect on. I'm going to take that effect off because it's crap. Uh, preview it again. And there you go. It recognises that it's there. It recognizes that it's there and plays it, so I've just learned something new there as well. So basically that's how you'll be building up your different layers onto your scratch looper, or looper whatever you want if you want to use it for the music or whatever you want. Um, that's how you do it, so I mean, once that was tallied up I might just want three beats on this looper, if so that could be it, um, and you could just go to finish it off you would go file and you would come down to export and if you export it as an exe file I think Mac users can use SWF so if you do two versions I think it would help uh, both people but in this case we're just going to put an exe file so we'll click that opens my um, file browser so I'm just going to put 
get uh, test tester tester looper which is saved now if I go to my loopers there it is there and there you go that will technically be our finished looper with the different layers on so we play these two beats should play as we set and we stop it play that and stop it and we'll go over the lone wolf text and a sound should come in there you go it's literally as easy as that it's not it's not very hard to do and um, you can have lots of different variations again I think on my good version oh, click turn that off that's how we test the version but this is my actual good version which you can download from the nozrecordings.com website and you can do your scratching over that um, there's not too much going on on it flat, um, sort of animation wise because you just want it to be subtle I think as I said before you don't want it you don't want all of these dancing around us you'll be like ah. your eyes will be all over the place it, it won't have the same effect so just a little bit of subtlety here and there I think um, makes it look uh, rather nice I mean, on this one you can click. <laughs> you can click each of the the two uh, the two names, Rich's Rich Nozzle, and myself, Kirky Nozzle, and you can follow us on on Twitter. If you click those links, it'll go straight to our Twitter page. So it's the same as what we we just loaded up for the Nozzle website and the live scratch stream. Again, that scratch stream is there, so we do live uh, scratch stream or scratch performances um, periodically, sort of in in once a week for about uh, six weeks so there's different top quality DJs on there doing some uh, sort of live scratch and that's really good so if you haven't a scratch on this you want to go to the scratch stream bang just press that and you can go there ready for the seven or eight o'clock at night showing or whatever um, and I think this lo loads up my MySpace if you click that obviously it's hovering if it plays the sound but um, Yes, so now you know how to do a uh, scratch looper. So I hope you enjoy uh, creating, and I will hopefully enjoy having a scratch over the beats you create. Um, I hope it's been worthwhile, and obviously you can go on the nozzlerecordings.com website and get our updates and lots of different things to do with scratching and... <laughs> things in general and I think I'm gonna do some more tutorials uh, over a few different things that I've been asked about I might do those as well but in the meantime I hope it has been helpful this and good luck creating a new scratch loopers okay thanks a lot see you later